But I think we are standing in a crossroad with more technological change. And that means sustainability in the terms of environment, obviously, but it means also safety and financial sustainability. So thank you very much for the trust in us. Thank you very much for coming and let the show begin. It is estimated by 2050, there will be more plastic in our oceans than fish. That is uncomprehensible. 40% of worldwide energy consumption is needed for building and construction. 40%. On the other hand, 30% of CO2 emission is coming from our industry. These are huge numbers. It's not acceptable that my children, your children, their children live in a planet that is not livable anymore. And we have to act today. We were the first in our industry to team up with WWF. And we're really proud about that. We made a commitment that our company is going to save 7 million tons of CO2 in a six-year period. That's enormous. Part of it we do together with you, our customers. If we don't work on a sustainable environment, it will cost us, each of us, much more in the long run. So what we have to do is we have to convince people that sustainability is going together with profitability. And companies that are profitable can reach sustainability very easily. We want to work together with you, our customers, to optimize your sites, not only your machines. One example we have right now in Sweden, together with Skanska, to build an entire electrified site. The target is to reduce the exhaust emission down to 5%, reduction of 95%, at the same time increase productivity by 25%. The end game is that machines will work standalone, no operator. We know that there is no way around electromobility. It is very simple and we see it week after week that certain areas simply declare that by a certain date, no diesel combustion engine anymore in this area. I think uh, the moment where we have understood that we have to develop a company with a purpose and that purpose being making this world a better place, uh, building tomorrow, that might be an emotional driver that many of our, our competitors might not have in their strategy. It is definitely a great setup for the future. It is, when I speak with employees, a great motivator for all of us. People are going to live more and more in cities. By 2030, 60% of world population will live in cities. Every machine that surrounds us, the coffee machine or the excavator, will be connected. And that technology evolution today is not linear anymore. So try to imagine what we are facing right now in terms of technical evolution. Environmental requirements, they are raising. You have to be profitable, but going forward, you have to do it in a very sustainable manner. Because we become committed to work for a sustainable infrastructure industry. Thank you.